All right, guys, how appropriate is a carnivore diet for a human being? Guys, I'm Dr. Sean Baker. Today, let's consider how well-suited human beings are for eating meat. First of all, there is fossil evidence that supports this. Research has identified that a human ancestor, Australopithecus afarensis, used stone tools to scrape meat from bones and break them open to get to the bone marrow. That's something like three million years ago when this occurred. Epitope studies have supported the idea that humans have eaten meat for at least the last two million years. Uh, the Levantine overkill theory shows that humans selectively hunted the biggest, fattest animals they could find and gradually, as they had to, shifted to smaller animals as the large ones went extinct. This is one of the reasons why a ribeye steak is so appealing. You know, we used to be hunting these big, fat, juicy animals. They just sort of went extinct for the most part. Now, humans are the only species that can throw well. You know, as vegans will tell you, we weren't throwing rocks at, at trees to knock fruit out of the trees. Uh, we were throwing for a reason. It wasn't just to throw footballs. Uh, it is thought to be a huge key evolutionary advantage for hunting. Uh, we also evolved skills to make sharp steer points and cutting tools. You know, the anatomic evidence is quite compelling. Humans have a very acidic uh, stomach, just like other predators. Uh, we have a pancreas, which doesn't just make insulin. We also make digestive enzymes for digesting meat and fats. Our gallbladder concentrates bile, which we would not need if we had not evolved to eat fats and meat. Now, our cecum is vestigial. Uh, it evolved into nothing because we didn't really eat that much in the way of plant food. We have no foregut fermentation as we are monogastrics. You know, we have a one-chambered stomach. Uh, we don't need fangs as we can make sharp cutting tools or weapons. Our eyes are forward-facing, set on the side as would be a prey animal. And while predators typically have their eyes in a forward-facing direction. Uh, you know, what about health evidence and just basic logic? Now, vegan diets are deficient and, and, and it's very common. Can you source a completely nutritious year-round vegan diet from what grows within 20 miles of your home? Of course you can't. Is a vegan or vegetarian our natural diet? If you need foods from all around the world and produced in factories with protein extracts and supplements, to do it, does that make sense? It's very easy with a carnivore diet. Remember, 99% of plants are poisonous in some capacity. 99% uh, of all animals, you know, and fish are edible. Uh, people are healing from many conditions just by simply eating meat. However, there are people arguing that humans evolved to only eat plants. We are really designed to eat a strictly plant-based diet. But if we look at the evidence these folks use, it's simply wrong and misleading. This chart says we don't have sharp canine teeth, but we evolved to hunt with weapons and not our teeth. It also says that we have weak hydrochloric acid, which couldn't be further from the truth. Here's a chart from an actual research study showing that humans have the same stomach acidity uh, that is uh, even more acidic than a cat or dog, which both obviously hunt for meat. Now, this is important because stomach acidity is necessary for digesting proteins. I can go on and on, but there's just so many errors here. Now, if you look into real research, Research papers, what you see is that compared to primates or other primates that eat a lot of plants or fruit, humans have a very long, small intestine, but a very small colon. Why does that matter? Gorillas are often used as examples by vegans, but they are hindgut fermenters. They have a huge colon, a huge cecum, so they can digest huge volumes of plant material. In fact, average gorilla is eating something like 40 to 60 pounds of plant material a day and just to get the necessary nutrients we need. Now, try that as a human. Try to eat 40 pounds of vegetation a day and you'll end up with a very, very sore gut. Humans, on the other hand, have a very small colon and only a vestigial tiny little cecum. Gorillas and horses have a microbiome in their huge gut, which digests plants to produce fatty acids, which the animal then absorbs. Humans can't do that because we don't have that gut and that type of microbiome. So there you go. Humans are built to eat meat, not plants, at least meat for the most of the diet. If you'd like to see the five most common mistakes on a carnivore diet, then check this video out over here. We also have one about how to get started on the carnivore diet, so keep an eye out for that one. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time, and thanks for subscribing, liking, and uh, hitting the notification bell. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon.